Welcome to Time Warner Cable's local edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz and the mayor of Glendora is here. Her name is Karen Davis. You have brought an umbrella and yes, one sir. would think, why would you bring an umbrella? We're in a drought, but guess not. We may not be in a few months. What can you tell us and what you've learned about El Nino? Well, right now they're telling us that this could be one of the wettest winters that we've had in several years. And so we are preparing for that in Glendora. We just had two community workshops recently trying to help residents prepare so that when the rains come, they'll be ready. And let's talk about the potential. What I have read and learned is that this El Nino is being described as a Godzilla, yes. uh, the most powerful on record. It, it, I mean, it's almost in, like, how could it be that we go from such severe drought to such severe rains? Why is that a particular concern to Glendora though? Because there is a, an issue. Right. Well, anytime you have that amount of rain, it's a serious issue regardless. But for us, it's compacted by the fact that we had the Colby fire right. in January of 2014. And because of the drought, the hillsides haven't had the chance to have new growth so that dirt is still at the stage where it's not very absorbent of the water mm -hmm. and also there's nothing there to hold that dirt in place. And so what could happen is you could have bonafide mudslides. Right. And those can be very serious, very dangerous and causing a loss of life. In 1969, after our 1968 fire, 91 right. lives were lost, hundreds of homes damaged. And we know with our most recent El Nino back in 97, 98, 17 people lost their lives, mm -hmm. almost a, over a half a billion dollars in damage. We are preparing, like you said, you've had right. these meetings, but is there some skepticism surrounding meetings dealing with rain and, and, and monsoon torrentials? A little bit. Folks look outside, look at the dry ground and right. think, oh, it's those meteorologists getting, right. they're getting a little too hyper. But also for those that were there in 1968 right. and 69, they have that little bit of sense of reality of knowing. And we've shown them other communities in La Cañada, Flint Ridge, mm -hmm. without El Nino, when they had heavy rains after their fire, caused quite a bit of damage. At the same time though, even if this El Nino is a monster, it still would not be enough to eliminate the deficit in water over right. the last four years. We right. know that. I mean, they anticipate this El Nino could give us maybe two times the amount of water that we would have expected, which is wonderful, yeah. but we need four times. Right, and this is where people can make it a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are giving away free rain barrels. We have two different mm -hmm. times that residents can take in their water bill and get that. Otherwise, they could get one and get a rebate. But that it allows people to capture some of that rain so that for those dry times, they right. can take advantage of this rain. But here's the question. Are your folks, are they looking at you and saying, we're confused? I mean, you're telling us on the one hand, we need to conserve. On the other hand, you need to be worried about rain so we're giving you rain barrels right so we're saying get the rain barrels save this water that's going to come so that when we tell you to conserve you have mother nature's water right there ready to use in those rain barrels. how has glendora done during these conservation periods we have done well so far we've met our goal every month that the fine state of california gave us which was 32 percent which is the second highest yes how have you been able to do that 32 percent that's not easy great cooperation both by our large users schools right businesses as well as residents and then so where do you go from here continue to conserve but be prepared for wet yes and again, trying to take advantage of that because we also have other water issues, the stormwater permit. Oh, yes. So <laughs> as, as the you rain run comes, off. yes, right. trying to find ways to divert that water so that we don't have additional issues with our stormwater. Her name is Karen Davis. She is the mayor of Glendora, California. My name is Brad Palmer, and this is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.